So today, uh, I'm at my local McKay's. It's pretty much like a, it's like a thrift store slash flea market slash collectible shop. So what it is, it's like they buy and trade used collectibles like books and video games, movies, toys, stuff like that. Uh, so you can either sell them your collectibles or you can get store credit which they give you a little bit more and you can use that to you know get some of their stuff and so they got some stuff at a pretty good price um i actually forgot about it earlier guys but i brought in some action figures in the game to like trade in i'm still waiting on it to see how much i'm gonna get uh, i'm gonna see if the usually get like 20 percent more if i get store credit so i might get some store credit because there's some cool stuff in there um that I saw I kind of want but while I was looking around to see what I wanted I found something pretty cool so I'm gonna show it to you guys real fast <laughs> So I was looking for stuff to pick up. Uh, I found this just chilling right there. I don't know much about it. Got it for $2.95, so plus tax and stuff. It's like about $3.50, give or take. Um, so what it is, is a 1997 complete set of the Upper Deck Michael Jordan Highlight Reel Motion Cards Complete Collector Set. I don't know what it is, I've never seen it before, but you know, Michael Jordan is always cool, Upper Deck is always cool, right? Um, it's sealed, still, and I did a little research on eBay, if this is the actual ones, this one is sealed, but the ones that I saw uh, really fast, I was taking a quick look, it was open already, and it was going for 50 bucks, so... If this is the real deal i think i got a good deal on it for three bucks but i'm still waiting to see uh my other stuff i am trading in see how much money i can get out of it and we'll go take a look around see what else they got in there hopefully we can find some cool stuff to flip so stay tuned guys so this place is called mckay's so right here is where they got like free stuff books DVD stuff like that they're giving out. McKay's pretty cool. So that's where they do the trading's at, checkout station. Two stories. It's the Funko Pop section. We got a lot of pretty cool Funko Pops. Sometimes you can find pretty good deals here. I found like a whole bunch of cheese pops earlier, but I didn't want to get it. Sometimes you can get good deals, but sometimes it's like double eBay comps. So. But I was here earlier and I was talking to this dude. He found a like $80 Funko Pop for like 10 bucks. So that was good on him. Rows and rows of Funko Pops. I like these. These are the Target exclusives. The Art Series. They're like $25 MSRPs, but they got some right here. This is like 12 bucks, so that's not bad. 13 bucks. Brand new still, sealed. MSRP at Target is 25, so it's really half price. So I might pick that up, see what kind of credits I get.
here they go a whole bunch of action figures this is where i found the uh, the michael jordan stuff earlier it just randomly they just put a whole bunch of packs here so that's pretty cool This whole bunch of random collectibles, like calculators, iPads, tablets, laptops, iPhones, iPads, iPods, game section. It's pretty cool. This place is pretty big. I think it's been around for like 20, 30 years. They got like instruments over there. Guitars. They got some like higher end vintage games in the case here. get some Pokemon games. You know, of course, sometimes you gotta see if it's fake or not. Sometimes I like, get real ones here, sometimes they have fake ones, but they have a pretty good return policy here, so uh, when I do get the fake ones, they're pretty cool about it and let me return it. These are like DVDs. So these are like the lower end games. I guess they're not that super lower end, but. PS2 games. Pretty cool, it's all alphabetical. PS3 games over here. PS4. Like a boxes full of DVDs. This is a TV series section. Over here they got tons and tons of books. The books are here are pretty pretty fair, you know? Three dollars a book. Pretty cheap. I'm not really a reader but anybody likes reading and it gives out free books all the time in the front like I showed it earlier got an elevator to go upstairs too that's pretty cool board games Monopoly how much is Monopoly game $22 that's a little high but this looks pretty cool it might be like some kind of special edition one Got seal games here. Oh, looks pretty cool. Upstairs is like the music, like CDs, and then uh, record players, and then corner over there. They got like some Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic cards. We gonna go up there in a little bit, but so this is just a whole bunch of books all the way down. Tons and tons of books.
Got some kids section. This is the restroom. Elevator. We've got a whole bunch of Legos here as well. Those are cool. You can make your own pack of Lego, I guess. Got a whole bunch of bags down there, so you can make like a bag full of Legos. So a sandwich bag is six dollars, and a gallon bag is twenty-four dollars. Oh, all these Legos. Hot Wheels. Some presents. McDonald's toys. Happy Meal toys. That's cool. Let's go upstairs. Whew. All these record players. It's upstairs now. They got audiobook section. Over here, they got some t shirts. Vintage clothing. And this is the first time I've seen this, but got a whole bunch of broken game systems if you guys need parts. A type machine, that's pretty cool. 30 bucks for a broken game system. Is that a good deal? 30 bucks for some broken game systems. I don't know, I guess it depends on the parts, right? Some TVs. Hmm, tripods. I might get one of these for shows and stuff. Bunch of CDs. And this side is record players. Pretty cool. I need to get like a record player someday. I've always wanted a record player. Those are awesome. Look how cool that looks. Record players are coming back now. I have guys that have like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of record players collection, which is crazy. But I mean, it's like fifteen dollars and stuff like that. It's not cheap. Got some comic books here too. That's cool. Not really a comic book guy, but I know they're pretty collectibles now. I'll say everything's collectible now. Got mangas. Mangas are cool. My cousin spends a lot of money on mangas. Mangas are pretty much like Japanese comic books, pretty much. But they're like a lot thicker. Like Naruto, this is super popular. What is this? How much is this? 14 bucks. One, two, three, four, no five, six, seven, eight. All the way to 38, 39. That's a whole set right there. More comic books, graphic novels, and here are the collectible cards. So here's, they just have piles and piles of magic cards. Well, they used to have more. They had like four or five of these last time I was here, and they had like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, magic, but I guess they sold out on the Pokemon stuff, but 
I mean, if you know anything about magic, I find some vintage stuff like this. Like, I don't know anything about magic, but I, I know this is like an older card, aka vintage card. And I mean, if you look on the bottom, it will say the year it was. It was made, but I mean, I don't know anything about magic. That could be a common car or it could be like a rare car. I really don't know, but the newer stuff you can tell because they have like, this on the side is all black. Like this is common. If it's like a little bit lighter gray, it's like uncommon. And they have gold ones are like rares. Red ones are mythics, but the older cards, some of them doesn't have the color in the side. Like I can tell this is an older card because of the artwork, but maybe I find like a black lotus or something in here. What should I do? Should I stay in here for like three hours and dig through these? So it's like a bag of these is like four dollars so you can fit as many cars in here and i think my my most cars fit in here was like 150 cards so i mean that's not the best deal but you know So what they do is when you give them your trading stuff, they give you a ticket like this, and you just wait until your ticket is called. Yeah. Found a limited edition Chase Funko Pop here, twelve bucks. It's about that much on eBay, but Chase are like you know short print stuff. They're pretty rare. I might get that later. This is the stuff that I traded in. This is the cash value and this is the trade value. Uh, I took back two items that they only paid 89 cents on. And they gave you like a piece of paper like this with the barcode of two credits. So this is what they I took back. They were 89 cents. And these are the stuff that they rejected. So I guess they don't want to take clothing. But I was surprised I didn't take these. These were pretty collectibles. 
I was just trying to see what they take and what they didn't take, so now we know. We got some cool stuff heading in the back. These are pretty cool. These are common riders. They're like a Power Ranger variation. Some random figures in the back, but those are pretty cool. I think those are like weapons and morphers. They should be made in Japan, so pretty cool material. I actually st ended up being there for over two hours. Wow. Uh, they took a little bit longer for for them to give me my credits. Usually, only take like less than ten minutes, but I don't know why today it took over thirty minutes. But I end up spending ten dollars on this game. I've been playing older vintage games, quote unquote older games lately. So this was cool. So this is the receipts. So if you buy stuff with store credit, they don't charge tax. So that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, some some places they kind of charge tax even if you use store credit, which is kind of crazy. But I mean, some of the stuff in here. They're not the cheapest, but if you know what you're looking at and you find the right stuff, you can get some good deals. I think whatever they sell it for, they'll buy it with store credit for half the price. Uh, so that could be good and bad since a lot of their stuff are overpriced. So you can trade in your stuff for half of their overpriced. Like my stuff that I bought uh, for a for example, I had a Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PS2. I bought it for $10 at another game shop. Uh, they, they're selling theirs for $30. So they gave me $15 store credit for my game. So I ended up uh, getting like $5 extra for credit. And I mean, I got $130 now. I guess I can save up a little bit more and maybe get like a bigger items there they got like ipads you know laptops game systems stuff like that but where if i can find more deals like random stuff they get new products in every single day so well we'll see what happens as always guys thank you so much for watching my video and please if you haven't yet subscribe like comment down below and i'll start doing a lot more travel videos car show videos going around buying stuff from thrift store and flea market and just flipping videos and what i do to hopefully flip and see what happens but thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate it also, follow me on Instagram at G-M-F-I-R-E-D. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Fire out!